Are you learning to dance skate or do you have a teeny tiny practice area? Then these five moves are for you and stick around because at the end I've got a bit of a bonus one as well. So the first move is nice and easy. So this can be done in place or moving. And it literally, we're standing in a V and you're gonna slide one foot forward, back to center, one foot forward, back to center. Now the only difference is with this foot is you do slide, slide, back together. So obviously you're transferring your weight each time, slide, slide. So I think of this as a count of four. Now this is really great because you can do it to whatever tempo of music and you can give it a bit of the old hip as well. Nice bit of rhythm on this one. For the next one, rather than standing in a V, we're gonna stand in an inverted V or an A. So this move is all about weight transfer again, but it feels slightly awkward because you're crossing your foot over like this. So all my weight will go in here and then I'll cross over. Now obviously my knees are gonna hit, but this is kind of part of it because it means you have to drop the hip and kind of bend into it, which gives you this really nice rhythm. So just make sure you do it nice and slowly and get the weight transfer because it's quite easy to lose control of this back leg. So nice and slow, back to your A bend into it. Really, really bend the one that's got the weight on it. And make sure you don't crash feet in the middle. There's a little bit of a coordination. So if you make the foot go slightly back, it will come in. When you're doing this, the wheels do start to have a bit of a mind of their own. So to stop this, what I do is like a little mini plow. So when I come in here, I actually lean on the inside of both of my feet and that stops the momentum. And it means I've got much more control over the move. So the next move is the crab, but we're gonna jazz it up. Jazzy crab. Once you get comfortable with the crab, which is a heel toe push and pull. So I'm heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. But this is a really good one to practice because it's kind of like the middle of the crazy legs. So we can use that for our advantage. If you do crab, and then when you get here, we're gonna slide this foot back. Then you're gonna bring it back to the V and we're gonna do slide back, slide in, crab. So the bit of the crazy leg that makes it look crazy is you get this little flick here, flick. So we can get used to that using the crab. So if you start like this, back into the crab, one, two, three, flick. Crab, one, two, three, flick. Crab, one, two, three, flick. So each time this back leg is going up onto a toe manual. This is another really versatile move and there's a couple of variations for this one. So all we're gonna do is stand with your feet together and foot to the side, back together, other side, back together. So there's a little bit of weight transfer here. Now what's really nice with this one is once you start to get a bit of rhythm, you can change it to the beat so what I do is there, and I'll lift that middle foot. So rather than just stepping here, you've got that extra lift. Once you're comfortable with that, you can add a little cross into it. So rather than just coming back to center, you can cross the foot and step. Cross the foot and step. Cross, step, cross, step. See how low I am in the knee for this. This is really, really important because being low in the knee gives you space to cross your legs. And again, you can get that little rhythm there. 
lift, lift, lift. Once again, you need to control the momentum. So let me show you what I mean. So what I'm doing is when I step here, I'm leaning on this inside really hard and that stops my momentum. So I get that lean and it kind of anchors the move in place. Inside, inside. It works so well. Otherwise, if you stay flat, you're kind of gonna just lose control of it. So remember, if you're having it all run away with you, are you doing the inside edge here and here? So the last one is the crescent step. This is a really nice easy one, but again, it takes a little bit of coordination because there is a push and a pull in here. So what you're gonna do is one foot on the toe manual is go out diagonally, turn it inwards and bring it back in diagonally and place it in front of the other foot. And now you're gonna swap. So this one goes diagonal, diagonal, down. But the most important part of this is the feet kind of move at the same time because you've got to swap places. So as this foot's doing this, this one is actually traveling backwards to make space for the one in front. And then this one can come forward. So you've got this push and pull. So my feet are actually moving at the same time, like this, almost like a dribble. And this is really nice again, because you can add a little bit of style with it. So your reward for watching this far has arrived. This is the bonus section. So for me, these dance moves are all done with this kind of flow. And to get that flow, the only way to do it is to drill and drill and drill them until they become very, very natural. So for instance, with the hairs, it's very clunky at first but I find that it does start to flow. And to get this flow, when you do the curtsy, I put more weight on this front leg so it's ready to slide back out again. And it feels much more fluid than that, that, that. But this will only come from drilling and drilling and drilling to the point where it's such a natural move that it just kind of flows always keep your knees really soft that's going to help too i'm katie you've been watching skatey and i'll see you next time bye Jazzy Crank.